LADA and Mercury Coder are a new class of LLM that apply diffusion to language modeling. All well-known language models like ChatGPT, Claude, Llama, etc. are autoregressive, meaning that they work by eating the previous words in a sequence and predicting the next word one at a time to build the output. Diffusion is a different approach, which has seen a lot of success in image generation systems. To train a diffusion model, you start with a corpus of multidimensional data like you would to train any other generative model. To prepare your dataset for diffusion training, you proceed by corrupting parts of the training sample little by little so that you have a sequence of more and more corrupted data. The model is then trained to uncorrupt the sequence one step at a time. At inference time, you start with a fully corrupted sequence and run the model over and over again on the sequence to end up with the final output. Details about Mercury Coder are less available, but the LADA team has published a paper and put their model on Hugging Face. The LADA architecture is still a transformer, the same architecture used in most LLMs like Llama and ChatGPT. However, instead of interpreting the output of the transformer as the next word in the sequence, the output of the model for a particular token is considered the replacement for that word in the same part of the sequence. For those who have worked with transformers, this is essentially like doing a prefill over and over, but replacing the input sequence by the output sequence each time. In image diffusers, the sequence is normally the pixels of the image, and the corruption is often adding Gaussian noise. However, for LADA, they corrupt the sequence by replacing tokens with a special masks token. Training and inference in LADA roughly look like this. First, the data set is prepared by masking tokens with higher and higher probability. Then the model is trained to predict the original sequence from the different masked samples. Finally, at generation time, the inputs from the user are left unmasked while the completion starts completely masked. The model is then applied to predict the completion tokens and the mask token is reapplied to the lowest confidence outputs. This pattern is then repeated for the desired number of steps. If you'd like a full video on LADA with further details about noising, training, and anything else, please let me know in the comments.